Oh, look at that. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here today at today's press conference for Gemini Man. What did you think of the movie? There you go. Yes, we're going to have a great conversation today. So thank you so much for being here. I'll start off with a bunch of questions, and then I will turn it over to you. So let's, without further ado, bring out the two-time Oscar-winning director of Gemini Man, Ang Lee. Let's bring out, let's bring out, uh, seriously, the, the greatest showman, the greatest producer of movies. And he's here, he produced Gemini Man. Please welcome Jerry Bruckheimer. <laughs> you have a fan backstage, I'm guessing, right? Great to see you. I see you right here. Uh, the guy who's whooping and hollering. Let's bring him out. Uh, I'm not sure if he's the younger version or the older version, but he looks amazing anyway. Please welcome Will Smith. <laughs> now we know. The gig is up. Ladies and gentlemen, please bring out Will's co-star, Clive Owen. Energy Whoa. is off the hook. <laughs> this is going to be a great press conference. Yeah, hold that thought for one second. For one second, please welcome visual effects supervisor Bill Westenhofer. Last but certainly not least, please welcome Weta Visual Effects Supervisor Guy Williams. Right. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's everybody. We are right, good, okay. and it's time to rock on this. Everybody. Uh, yes. Woo! <laughs> Welcome. The energy. Yes. This, I, I'm all about the energy. Yes, so this, no, that's this what is it great. is. It's all about the energy. Energy. The yes. energy, it's all about the film. And, and really, uh, Jerry, I know that this, uh, this screenplay, the story, has been going on for, for a very, very long time. Um, when did you come on? What made you fall in love with the story, and what was sort of the, the story at that time, and how did it evolve to what we now have now seen? Well, it's been at least 10 years that we've been working on this, and uh, the issue was that technology hadn't caught up with the creativity of the writer. So we had to wait for these gentlemen over here and Ang Lee to figure out how to get this movie made. We did some unsuccessful versions of this in testing, and it looked pretty awful. So we kind of put it on the shelf until Ang said, we, I have a whole new way of doing this. And he said, I'm going to create something really special. And he certainly did. OK, uh, what were the first conversations that you had? Like, what made you like, sort of see, hey, you know, Ang Lee is the guy to direct this movie. And Ang, what made you say, I am the guy to direct this movie? Uh, of course I'm the guy. <laughs> 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 try, to, try to talk like real. Like. No, that's, the, that's Ang's inner gangster rapper. That's, the, that's what I've learned in spending time with him. He has an inner gangster rapper that every once in a while just comes out. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it, it's just too attractive, so that makes me like, yes. Uh, each time I make a movie, I have that feeling I, I am the guy. Uh, there's nobody else. This is my movie. You know, it, it, you make that f connection, some, the visceral connection. I do feel this one. Actually, the first person to talk to me was uh, David Ellison uh, in his office at, 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 at Skydance. As soon as I hear a clone, a younger version, it's, I just feel I'm old enough to deal with this stuff. Uh, like looking back, uh, what am I? When you see a clone <laughs> and we're just a piece of jeans, why do we exist? All this uh, well, philosophical stuff hit me first. Then what kind of fun we're going to have. Mm -hmm. And I know we're getting into a digital world and how we create it. And, and I've experienced uh, the Hulk 20 years ago. And not too long ago, uh, I experienced the tiger. 
in Life of Pi, in my head, this is within reach. But I know as with human face, uh, you're playing with fire. It, it's, it's pretty, you're, you're, you're in a God's realm. Like, it's pretty scary, but at the same time, it's pretty exciting. So I signed on. The first time we talk is, I said, I want to do it, but I want to have a new approach, and I want to try a different media. Um, so I invited Jerry and, and the whole Skydance people into my uh, New York uh, editing room to see a reel of uh, Billy Lynn's long halftime walk. I said, this is the media I want to do. <laughs> I want to approach in a digital way with Junior. And then they f fell for it. So that, that's how we started. I was quite surprised. I said, <laughs> after Billy Lynn, somebody like, here we go. Uh, I got to give them a lot of credit, the support they have. For, for this project. You know, some shots take a year, then while we're shooting, we have to turn over before they see anything. They're like, okay, we trust this guy. Um, you know, well, well, I wanna ask, uh, you know, it, ultimately so much has been written and talked about already with like the technology and how it breaks ground and new ba breaks boundaries, which it absolutely does, and we'll get to that in a second, but you know, the script is the thing. Mm -hmm. so, so what was it like for you when you read this the first time that made you just go, I'm in. You know, I just, I loved the, 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 the philosophical idea that we all plant the seeds of our own destruction. Like we are our own worst enemies. <laughs> like, you know, the, that we make choices and we, we make uh, decisions in our lives that set things in motion that we can't blame other people for. And that the, the battle with trying to overcome our karma, you know? Right. And I just thought it was a really uh, clever and creative way to say that we are the architects of our ultimate uh, rise or fall. And to be able to do that in this way, and it's a big part of why I love uh, science fiction, uh -huh, uh -huh. Be, because you can put those things under really wild visual uh, landscapes. Well, Clive, you know, when, when you look at the way the movie was being made while it was being shot, you know, like when I think of uh, the, some of the movies you've done in the last, you know, 20 years, when I look at movies like Children of Men, which is like, you know, just such a great movie. and. Woo! <laughs> you know, but also something, you know, <laughs> breaking the ice. Uh, I love it. Bring it. Do it. Um, but, no, 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 it's great. Uh, but also like shoot them up, which is very, uh, you know, visceral action heavy film. You know, what did you see as like the challenges with, with making this movie that were different from the other films that you've made? Um, I, I think it's like a, a brilliant coming together of something that's, you know, hugely, it's, it's full of action, it's a great premise, it's a, it feels like a huge movie, but it's also, you know, it's about characters and it's about drama and it's very intimate and personal. And I think that Mr. Ang Lee is the ultimate director for a movie like this because He's on top of all the technology, he's on top of what huge drama is, but he's also incredibly artistic and specific and detailed. So, you know, I think, uh, you know, I was just hugely excited the minute I, I got sent the script, yeah. 